Hello everybody, it is Mr. Yu here, and today we are going to be learning how to make a cricket bat so we can use with our origami cricket ball. So follow along while I show you how we use these certain items to make our cricket bat and cricket ball. So what we're going to be needing is one piece of cardboard, not too big, you know, this is fine for the piece of cardboard and just a sheet of construction paper or any kind of paper that you have. Uh, I won't be coloring it in just because I like how the brown already looks from the cardboard, but it's up to you if you want to be using the colors or markers. I will leave a list right, right here of the items that you will need. Did you get the items? All right. And so let's get started. Make sure you have parent supervision. Okay, so for starters, we're going to start with our cardboard cutout. Now, what we want to do is we want to draw a similar rectangle rectangle like this. I don't know if you guys can see it. There we go. Similar rectangle. And we're going to want to cut that out. All right. So now that we have our rectangle cut out, we're going to use the one of the longer pieces that came out from the cutout. And we're going to put it as our handle. Of course, mine looks a little bigger than it, but I'm going to be gluing it on a little closer. And it might cut it down a little slimmer, or you can get a slimmer piece and put it as your handle. All right, so now that we have our handle attached with glue or tape, it doesn't really matter. As long as it's attached somehow, that should be working fine. Usually, cricket bats have a curvature angle right here that goes in like that to make the bat a little more sturdy so we're going to get one piece like this a uh, second piece from the cardboard or any construction paper would work if you don't have no more cardboard if you have no more cardboard construction paper would work we're going to do something like this so we're, we will get the piece make sure it's a little longer than the cricket bed itself and from there you're just going to want to get it and fold it up a bit so that it gives you this little angle here but now we're going to glue that on this also helps so that the stick stays in so make sure you glue it on the right side not like me i was going to do it on this side we are going to glue it onto the handle this part and this part will be glued onto the tip of it it helps if you have a little flap on it like this just to put it like that. Therefore, there's like, there's more placement of it. So just glue this side onto the Cricut bat. All right, and now that we have our Cricut bat done, as you can see, we have our handle and we have our Cricut bat ready to go. We will now start working on our origami ball. So now what you want to do is in order to start our origami, we're going to make it into a square. As you can see, we now have a rectangle. To make it into a square, you're simply going to make a triangle. You're going to get this corner, right? And you'll put it until it makes a perfect right angled triangle, all right? As you can see, we have our right triangle and this little extra piece down here. We're going to simply cut this off with some scissors. Okay, so now that we've cut off that end piece, we now have a square. So now what we are going to do is we're going to fold it hamburger style. Now once we have this going, this rectangle, we'll fold it in half to get a square. So now that we have a square, we're going to locate the crease. I don't know if you guys can see that. That small crease that we made in order to make this into a rectangle, we're going to find it. And we're going to pull it out, right? Once we pull it out, it'll bring some with it, but that's okay. We're going to pull it out until this pops up so we can flatten this and get ourselves. So this pulls out and we push it in so we can get ourselves a little triangle. We will turn it over. It'll look like this. And now, once we turn it over, we'll open this part and do the same thing. So this pops out. This goes in. Or a little easier, you could just open it back up. And once you open it back up, all you got to do is make sure you get the triangles in. 
right? So you'll fold it in. You'll fold this in a bit. You'll have this left over. And then you just see this part and you just push it back in. So now you'll have this. So it'll be kind of like a spaceship of some sort. So what you're going to want to do is on each side, you're going to flip this into the middle. Now, once you have all your corners in, it should look like a diamond. If not just a square, you know, it's all good. Have it shaped as a diamond, though. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to get each flap from the small triangle that you flipped into the middle and put them in the middle. So this flap would go inside. Like so. And this one will do the same thing. And you'll do this for both sides, so it'll look kind of like this on both sides. Once you have this done, you'll simply locate where there's like a little little opening on each side. So there's my little opening, and you'll simply get this part on each side and fold it into those flaps. All right. So now that you have your flaps inside, you're going to want to open it up a bit. Like so. Have it come out like that. And you see how there's a hole in there? There's like a hole made right here. Small tiny hole. You're going to find that hole and you're gonna blow into it while holding onto this so that it doesn't open up. And there you have it. There is your origami cricket ball, or cardboard cricket bat as well. So now go ahead and enjoy. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.